na 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 Hi guys, um, I wanted to do another video about transitioning for um, people that are thinking about transitioning, like contemplating transitioning, or even if you're just stretching your relaxer, or um, you're kind of in the early stages of transitioning. I've already got a video up about um, transitioning long term and a few things that I thought you know were kind of essential. Um, you know, need to know if you wanted to go in for the long haul instead of the short haul, I guess. But this video is just general, it's broad, and it's um, mostly the little things that I might have missed out in the other video. So, um, I don't even know where to start, guys. I should have made notes, but I thought um, if I made notes, I might forget stuff, or I might not go into as much detail because I'd be trying to move on to the next point. So I'm just kind of um, letting it flow. And the first thing that comes to mind is um, how how I used to wear my hair during the very early stages of transitioning. And um, I, I bunned a lot. I was a bunner, I was a definite bunner um, in my early stages because I had a lot of work, I had a lot of work at uni, um, I was quite busy, 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 busy. Well, my point so, is, uh, rambling, my point is um, the key to, you know, um, kind of getting through the early stages of transitioning, the early hurdles that you might um, come across is, in terms of styling, is to um, not manipulate your hair that much like low manipulation and I know you probably hear it everywhere you know low manipulation um, protective styling and like you know it feels like it goes on and on and on and on but seriously because you have to realize that it's this change for your hair do you know what I mean like your two textures are just like hello hi there you know and yeah at first you know it's all dandy when you see you know, like, oh you know, it's when you grow. And then you know you, you're a couple months in, and it's like your new growth is like, who the hell is this guy on my ends? You know, and your ends are like, who the hell is this guy on my tips? So um, they start fighting, and um, you just need to keep them as tamed as possible, and you kind of need to leave your hair alone. And I would wear that bun literally like the whole week, and maybe on the third day, you know, like the five days that I had uni, on the third day of the week. I would take the ponytail hold down, I would lightly spritz it with water and I would moisturise it and put it right back in the bun, scarf it again, that was it. Literally, um, as soon as I'd get home, I'd put my scarf back on and then when I was leaving the house, I'd take my scarf off. So my hair was always covered or something, it was always um, covered. Co-wash him, um, co-wash him. I do not co-wash my hair anymore, um, not that I have anything to do with co-washing, I just I just don't co wash anyone, I don't know what happened. I couldn't tell you guys the last time I even co washed my hair, but um, during the early stages of transitioning, I did. I co washed quite often, um, at least at least once a week minimum. Once a week minimum, I'd co wash my hair. And um, usually, what I'd do, I'd co wash my hair and then put the bun, put the bun in. Um, so I did use the co wash my hair, but I don't anymore. Um, I kind of, I just don't find it necessary, and I don't know, I don't know, but like I said in my other video, as, as time goes along and as your hair comes in, a lot of the things that you used to do, you won't be doing anymore because they're either redundant or they just, you know, they just don't benefit your hair in any way, shape or form, so you stop doing it. Um, what else is there? Like I said, I might, I might wash my hair in four now, in like four sections and detangle in four sections but that might not necessarily work for you if you're in an earlier stage of your transition or even if you're at the same stage that I'm in that might not work for you because like I said before in one of my videos I was talking about how um, I literally I think it might have been the same video the same transition tip video but I literally I, I washed my hair in so many sections 
I've done eight sections, so four on each side, side, side. I've done six sections, so three on each side. And all those um, techniques of washing and detangling worked for me at that time. But now, now it's kind of become a bit redundant because I could, it was easier to detangle in loads of sections before, but now it's just as easy to detangle in the four sections. So for me to be doing what I was doing then, when I could be doing this now, it's just a waste of time and effort. So um, you guys will see that as, as time goes on in your transition, um, little things like that changes. Um, what else is there? Oh, um, another thing that I used to do quite a lot is henna, henna. I hennaed my hair quite often. I haven't stopped henna in, but I haven't hennaed my hair since, I would say March, March of this year. Well, March 2009, not of this year. March 2009 was probably the last time I hennaed my hair. Um, and I used to henna at least once a month, once a month. Once a month, I would henna my hair. I'd henna my hair once a month, and I would use henna, and I would mix it with conditioner. Um, I never did the whole lemon juice thing. I would miss it, miss it. Guys, I can't even talk today. <laughs> um, I would mix it with um, conditioner, warm water, and I had an um, Indian herb mix. Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic, is that how you say it? Ayurvedic, 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 I don't know what I mean in it. Herb mix, and it had hibiscus, brahmi, menthe, and another one in there. It was like a mix, and I'd put like a teaspoon of that in there um, for my henna mix, and I'd do that um, once, once a month. Also, that same Ayurvedic mix, Ayurvedic, that same um, mix I used to put in my deep conditioners as well. I put it in my deep conditioners um, to deep condition my hair. But anyway, yeah, henna in my hair uh, really helped me. It strengthened my hair a lot, a lot, a lot. Because I personally, um, like, okay, so when you're transitioning, there will be a stage where you will have some shedding, like quite a bit of shedding and you'll be like, whoa. Now, for me personally, because I used to only get a texturizer um, once, twice, twice a year maximum, right, beforehand, before I used to only get um, touch-ups, like twice a year maximum. So when I was stretching, when I was stretching, when I was um, transitioning in like the first six months, I was cool. It was a breeze for me. I didn't struggle with styling my hair. So I can't really, when people ask me, okay, I'm in my early stages of transitioning, what kind of hairstyles can I do? I just wanted to tell you to do whatever you were doing before because for me, I, I just, I styled my hair the same way I used to style my hair before. Does that make sense? Because I was so used to my hair in that state, in the state where I had some new growth. Um, I knew how to style my hair like that and I'd style it the same way I'd style my hair if I'd just got a fresh touch up. Um, but I did not use heat. Um, I did not use heat at all. Since I've transitioned, since I've been transitioning, it's 18 months now, I have straightened my hair. I think, I think the last time I straightened my hair when I made that video, that was my fourth time with straight hair. Um, oh, flat ironed hair anyway. I blow dried probably five times. So there was one time that I blow dried and I didn't straighten my hair. So I make it six times actually because when I went to get my twist, um, I did blow dry my hair. But um, yes, I hardly used heat and I was used to my hair like that now. After the six months, it was my seventh month when I had um, problems. That's when. Um, I started getting a bit of breakage and it was like whoa and I actually have a little patch that I was going to show you guys, my little problem area and it's right here, it's a small patch, it's about like that big and the hair there is shorter than everywhere else but um, I don't really mind, 
I don't mind because it could have been much worse. All my edges are there, everything else is there, so that's not really a problem. But um, my point is there will come to a point where you will get some breakage and that's inevitable. There's no product that you can use or whatever you can do. There's no miracle cure. There's nothing you can do while you're transitioning to guarantee that you will not lose any hair. Like, it's not possible. It's not possible because, you know, the two textures are meeting and it's just, it's weak. That point is weak. So what you can do for your hair is learn to strengthen your hair. The other thing that I used to do quite often, for me personally, is every other week I'd do a protein treatment. So if I, if I, I wash my hair once a week, like you guys know, so if this week was moisture, the next week could be protein. Um, so yeah, the protein treatments really um, helped, it really helped in strengthening my hair. But if, if you're like protein sensitive, then obviously I wouldn't advise that you do that every other week. Perhaps you could try doing it um, once a month, month, once a month, or um, once every two months. And then maybe instead of using like a strong protein treatment, you might use a mild uh, light protein treatment. Or you know, if you're like a, a kitchen beautician, kitchen titian, kitchen titian, like myself then you could probably you know do um a one egg mayo olive oil treatment which is you know it's quite light and it will help in fortifying your hair and stuff so um i found that really helped me um another product that really helped me was the um afro g afro g afro 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 g i've got afro i don't know Af afro g afro g i think it's afro g um, Afro G green tea, green tea, green tea and carotene um, restructurizer. I think it's called. I I don't have it with me because it's in Birmingham and I'm in London at the moment. Hence the um, the reason why all my videos have had a different background recently instead of like the bed in the back is because I'm in London. So I'm actually filming this on my phone and it rang a second ago. So I'm sure something. Uh, that I was saying got cut out, but I don't know what it was. Um, yeah, I don't have the bottle with me, but it's it's, it's in like um, an orangey type bottle. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna find a picture on Google and I'm gonna put it in right now. Yes, yeah, so I used to use that um, in my hair after I washed it, obviously, as a leave-in. As one of my leave-ins, I would spray that in first and then put all my other leave-ins in my hair. And I think that really helped in strengthening my hair. And I think that's been the key thing for me. Um, the reason I've been able to come this far is because I've kept my hair quite... Um, I've kept my hair heat-free, um, hand-free. So I try and keep my hands out of my hair as much as possible. I've kept it comb-free, which is the most important thing, keeping it comb-free. So literally, I only comb my hair, as you guys know, on wash day, um, and that's when I'm detangling my hair. Other than that, I try not to comb my hair at all. Not even I try not to, I don't comb my hair at all. So, um, as you guys can imagine, when my hair was straight, I was having a field day, oh my god, I was just running the comb every minute, I was like, <sighs> you know, but yeah, um, that's one thing that I think really helped, um, what else is there, I just, I really want to give some tips guys, and, um, there was a few other things, oh, okay. so, yeah guys, um, if I've missed anything, then, if you're out there and you're transitioning like me, and you have any tips for um, our fellow transitioners or our contemplatives, you know, our bi curious ladies, then um, put your suggestions, suggestions, put your suggestions, suggestions, put them, <laughs> put those things that you have to say, your tips and whatnot in the comments so that you know ladies that check out this video can read through the comments and see what other tips that you have for them or if you have any questions any questions at all feel free to ask me you know because um that's what my channel is here for that's what basically it's not just to document 
my journey because if it was just that then I'll just stick to my foot key. I've got a foot key and I've had foot key for a bit now. But um, making these videos is not just for me but it's also to help um, you guys out there and just to inspire people and I know there's so many other ladies out there who are doing the same thing but you know it helps. Every year identifies with different people, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, okay guys. Um, have a wonderful week. Have a blessed week. Um, peace and love. Toodles. A symphony. I'm her composer. She can't hold her composure.